After doing not one, but two Fallout Viewer's Choice episodes, we here at the Shoddy Cast figured it was time to spread the love a little bit by creating our first ever Elder Scrolls Viewer's Choice. Because when you aren't too busy asking when the next season of Elder Scrolls lore starts, it's very soon guys, don't worry, you're leaving some great comments filled with trivia and hidden history that many Elder Scrolls fans might not know. Just like in the Fallout episodes, all the facts in this video are inspired by one of your comments. Daniel Flynn tells us that a Nordu main counter in Whiterun, Sigurd, has a more significant name than you might think. In Norse mythology, Sigurd was a legendary hero, famous for, what else, slaying a mighty dragon, who was actually a dwarf prince turned into a dragon by a golden ring in a story that is way too long and convoluted to cover here. Legends of Sigurd can be traced all the way back to ancient runestone carvings found in Sweden and went on to inspire Richard Wagner's famous German opera, Siegfried, in 1876. The story was even retold by the father of modern fantasy himself, J.R.R. Tolkien, in a book published posthumously by his son in 2009. Speaking of names, Mark Karampe lets us know that the name Farkas literally means wolf in Hungarian, a reference to the Nord's lycanthropy. Not only that, but his brother's name, Vilkis, also means wolf in Lithuanian. Tom Flood submitted his theory that Alduin is based on the Midgard serpent Jormungandr, an infamous figure in Norse mythology and a frequent nemesis of Thor. Another theory about the inspiration for Alduin lies in the Norse dragon Nithikush. Like Alduin, Nithikush was known as a deadly creature who often killed for simple amusement and, much like Alduin, he symbolized pure death and destruction. Keaton Myers brought up a possible origin for the name Talos and mentions the monster Talos as seen in the 1963 Sword and Sandals classic Jason and the Argonauts. The actual word Talos comes from the Greek island Crete and means sun. In Greek mythology, Talos was a huge man made of bronze and a protector of the island from pirates and invaders. This of course corresponds with Tamriel's Talos, who is worshipped as a protector and patron of mankind. Another likely origin for the name comes from a very different source, the hugely influential role-playing game Dungeons & Dragons. In the D&D universe, Talos is no protector. He's a deity of storms and destruction. However, much like the Elder Scrolls version, this Talos has a large group of incredibly devout worshippers. Many at Bethesda, including game director Todd Howard, have talked extensively about the inspiration the team took from Dungeons & Dragons, leading many fans to believe that this is where they found the name. Juan Joseph told us what man he believes to be the inspiration behind Talos' story, Octavian, also known as Augustus Caesar. The parallels are definitely there. Like Talos, Augustus conquered everything in sight and in the process brought relative peace to the young Roman Empire. Also like Talos is the fact that after he died, he was worshipped as a god by many in the empire until imperial worship became outlawed after the Roman Empire's conversion to Christianity. Another possible Roman connection is brought up by Dan Azu, who believes that the Skyrim's General Tullius is based on the sixth king of Rome, Servius Tullius. He shares the general's military background and was said to be assassinated in a similar way that General Tullius was. Well, if you were a jerk and killed him anyway. We want to thank all of you for those great comments. Keep them coming. But as we all know, not all YouTube comments can be so helpful. Some are just not so great. So to commemorate those comments, we bring you the Bad Comments Showcase. Today we have Seth Nunn, who dropped in to tell us that we should stop saying Skyrim copied Lord of the Rings because Lord of the Rings copied Skyrim, you fucking idiotic retards. Ouch, Seth. That, that hurts. It all seems a little bit chronologically impossible, but maybe that's just me. You thought you knew Elder Scrolls, but hopefully you've learned just a thing or two more. Do you know any other historical or literary references we didn't cover here? Share them in the comment section below and we might include it in a future episode. If you like Hidden History, don't forget to like and subscribe for more! I'm Austin Horrigan, the voice of Hidden History, and thank you for watching that episode! If you'd like to keep up on all things ShoddyCast, be sure to like us on Facebook and find us on Twitter, and I will see you guys next week!